Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, I had a voice radio, but today, in a video where you can see my face, I'm going to do a booster box opening. I've never done a booster box opening before. And I've been thinking, well, you know, how can I make it different? How can I make it a little bit more exciting? Now, on the one hand, I'm playing around with a second camera. On the other hand, I think, you know, maybe the fact that it's me, maybe I can bring a little bit more joy and enthusiasm to the world without crying every time I pull a Pikachu card. But also, I had a very good suggestion from a viewer. And the suggestion was, why don't you open a box and make a deck with it? And that sounds like a fun idea. So after I make this box, I'm going to pause for a couple of minutes, and I'm going to see what is the very best 60-card deck I can make using only cards that I pulled in this box. Now, those of you that like my competitive content, my card analysis, etc., that's still going to happen. Maybe I'll do more openings in the future, but my promise to you, ladies and gentlemen, is this. My card analysis, deck analysis videos are going nowhere. Every time a new card is revealed, you're going to get an analysis of it. The only difference is, maybe you'll get some openings as well. I don't know. But if you like the opening videos, do make sure you let me know so that I can do more of them. So, I'm not going to try and spend too long on this. We're going to try and go at a, a fairly fast clip, just focusing on the good cards that we've pulled, the cards we're pulling which are worth talking about. So, we do have a Reverse Holo Aqua Patch. That's pretty cool. And a Choice Band. We're going to need Choice Band. Choice Band is a card that allows you to do an extra 30 damage to EXs or GXs. And in the format at the moment, that's very important. Now here we're also seeing we've got a Drampa. Drampa's pretty good. And we've got a Max Potion, which is pretty nice. And actually, Machoke is a very good Stage 1 Pokemon. It blocks all damage counter and damage from attacks and abilities, so Machoke's actually a really good tech in decks like Gyarados. We have a Delmise, a card which, I mean, I still think he's good in the video game, quite honestly. Oricorio is very good for pulling out in, um, in your uh, fire decks. Hala can be quite a good supporter if you use your GX attack early. Sudo Wudu is very good for reducing your opponent's bench, and Mallow's quite a good supporter as well. It allows you to Search out two cards from your deck and put them on top. So, actually, no, no kind of chase cards yet, but that was a pretty good pack. Uh, Garbodor, he's very good. I, I rather think Garbodor might be the focus of the deck. We've got a Sudo Wudu, and we have a Field Blower. Field Blower gets rid of tools, and it's very important nowadays. I mean, I've just talked about how good Choice Band is, so Field Blower to get rid of that, pretty tasty. Drampa. I like Drampa. Drampa's good. He is our first ultra rare so far. Drampa is a very good Pokemon. His Berserk attack is very nice indeed. So Drampa Garbodor might be the best deck at the moment. With one Drampa and one Garbodor already pulled. Good start. Ninetales. Alolan Ninetales GX. Another very good Pokemon. Um, that's pretty good. And actually another choice band here. I'm liking this, ladies and gentlemen. Couple of choice bands, Drampa, Alolan, Ninetales. Of course, the best card in Guardians Rising is Tapu Lele. We are looking for a Tapu Lele here. In fact, we're actually looking for two or three. Uh, Salazizzle, called such out of respect. Fun little ability um, in terms of, you know, helping out a couple of decks, but actually it's, it's, it's not great. Uh, we have a Whimsicott. Fun card, but I don't think it's going to be great. Hauntcrow, I'm a big fan of. The problem is Honchkrow is much, much better when paired with the Promo Tapu Koko, which is not in this set, hence the name Promo Tapu Koko, so I rather think he's going to be staying in the deck. Um, there's not much in this pack, ladies and gentlemen. There's a multi-switch. Yay! It's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not, the best, not the best pack ever. Um, I probably should be looking for a Lowland Volpix as well, but to be honest, in any box of 36 cards, you expect to find a playset of all of the of all of the commons and uncommons now we do have an altar of the moon which is all right for retreating in dark and uh, fairy decks of oh, fairy decks psychic decks another mallow which is pretty cool and a mimikyu much better in expanded with dimension valley but still pretty nice I, I quite like it i can live with this ladies and gentlemen i can live with this so far not a terrible box uh, reverse hollow brooklyn hill that's pretty nice 
Um, oh, and we got our Alolan Volpix there, which is quite cool. Very nice. I think I need to start paying attention to the second camera, making sure you get a good look at all the cards I'm pulling from every pack here. So, not a huge amount in this one so far. No, we've got another Halla, which is a pretty cool card, and a Sharpedo. Not terrible. Not terrible, ladies and gentlemen. But we're really looking for these chase cards. We're looking for the shiny ones here. And, oh, Victini allows you to reflip if you have to use coin flips for an attack. It's pretty good. And an Aqua Patch. Loving the Aqua Patch there. And actually, Enhanced Hammer is not a bad card in a whole bunch of decks. So, it's been a little while since we pulled one of them chase cards, one of those GXs. Machamp, it's not good. Machoke's actually the one we're looking for. Beware. I actually really like Beware's ability, but I don't think it's terribly competitive. And a Soul Galeo. Again, not the most competitive card, but it's far from bad. We have a Marini. It's Reverse Hollow. It's the only reason I'm showing you. It's not a good card. And we do actually in this pack have a Rayquaza. Now I actually really like Rayquaza. It's got a really nice attack that allows you to accelerate when you attach energy. So that's not, it's not bad. Now starting off, we've got an Alolan Volpix straight away. And, oh yay, what did we, what's our rare? It's a Vanillux. That, that's not good, ladies and gentlemen. So we're expecting about six to eight ultra rares in a box. So we're hoping that the, the rate increases a little bit. We got a reverse on a Sharpedo. We got another Dalmise, which I really like the ability in Dalmise because it adds a bit of damage onto your metal Pokemon's attacks. And of course, we've also got a Beware and a Brooklet Hill. Brooklet Hill is quite nice just because it allows you to search out your basic water and fighting Pokemon. And finishing off, this is the last pack in this half of the box. And we, we've got a Heliolisk. Whoop, whoop. Yay. Um, an enhanced hammer. I mean, that half of the box was not spectacular. I like my Drampa. I like my Alola Ninetales. But we're really hoping for six to eight ultra rares, your GXs, your full arts, your rainbow rares. So hopefully this half of the box is going to be a, a little bit more successful. Starting off then, we have another Rayquaza. I like Rayquaza. It's got a really nice ability. Hala, Aoife Paradise Conservation Area. It's not bad. But, you know, Hala is not really worth a pack. I'm going to be honest with you there. We have a Wishy Washy, a fantastically fun little ability. Another Vanillux and another Hala. I think at this stage, we, we, we've got enough Hala, ladies and gentlemen. Um, also, two Vanillux. That they're not chase cards. Vanillux is not the card I'm looking for. Another Salazizzle. It's got a nice ability. I'm thinking we might have to be playing with a um a disruption style deck here because at the moment it's not. I've got one Garbodor and one Drampa, and that's cool. But it, it's not enough to make a deck. We've got an Oracorio. This is an amazing Oracorio, ladies and gentlemen. The first attack, Supernatural Dance, is really, really good. I'm a huge fan. But it, it's a tech card. It, it's going to be one card in our deck. And it's going to be a good card in our deck. But it's not going to be enough. Lycanroc GX. That's cool. I like this. Another Beware. Always good to have a Beware. And another Choice Band. So that's at least three Choice Bands now. So we're going to be getting a playset of Choice Bands, it looks like. Which is what we would expect and when we buy a full box. But so far, the Ultra Rares are not stacking up in the way that I would ideally like. We have a second Drampa. And at this stage, I'm really starting to think we might need to put Drampa into our deck. Ultra of the Sun is alright. But, yeah. I'm, I'm waiting for really, really playable cards. At the moment, Drampa Salazizzle looks like the best we're getting. Another Oracorio. This one's Reverse Hollow. I like that. And we have a Chandelure, which isn't terribly playable, but I'm just a big Chandelure fan. He's still my boy on Pokémon Tournament. Although, I'm going to be honest, I don't think he's very good in Pokémon Tournament, but I like him nonetheless. We have an Altar of the Sun, the lesser of the two Altars, mostly because Altar of the Sun, your opponent, it takes away your weakness, but your opponent can just replace that card 
put down their own stadium and then you don't actually get any use of it. Whereas at least with Altar of the Moon, you can play it down and then immediately use the retreat so you get something out of it. We have another Aqua Patch and we have a Gothitelle. It's not an amazing pack, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, should I be getting really excited about a Delibird? No, I, I really shouldn't. Delibird's not a great card. We have a Reverse Hollow Mimikyu, which is kind of cool. And we have another Aqua Patch, and we have an Enhanced Hammer. But unfortunately, we're still chasing those Ultra Rares. And at this stage, we're like three quarters of the way through the box. And I'm getting a little bit worried. We've got our Drampa, we've got our Alolan Ninetales, we've got our Lycan Rock. But we haven't got too much else. <gasps> Reverse Hollow Fletchling! And... An Oracorio. Now this Oracorio is quite good. It allows you to search for two of your basic energy cards, put them into your deck. It's Professor's Letter in an ability. It's not bad, but packs cost like £3.59, and I would not pay £3.59 for that Oracorio. We have an Ultra Rare. It's a Toxapex! One of the worst Ultra Rares in the format, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we got an Energy Lotto. We have got a Marini, which is pretty cool, because we've got the whole Evolution line in in one pack. But still no Tapu Lele. And this is the second box I opened. I didn't film the first opening. I sat in a hotel room watching the final of the Madison Regional Championships. I didn't think I needed to. But as it stands, I have zero Tapu Lele. I do have a Mudsdale. But I currently have zero Tapu Lele. And another Beware. Now, we know he's only an Uncommon. But anyone who watches this channel will know, I'm a big fan of Beware. So I can really get on board. I mean, I can pull as many Bewares as I like, and I'm cool with that. Uh, we got a Lilligant, which is not particularly great. Another Beware. Person who packed this box was thinking of me. Unfortunately, it's not an ultra rare. I keep using that phrase. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe I'm just being a little bit too ultra rare obsessed. Ooh, a reverse hollow Alolan Vulpix. That's going to go quite nicely in my Alolan, with my Alolan Ninetales and an Alolan Vulpix. And actually, Alolan Vulpix doesn't just evolve up into Alolan Ninetales. It's also got the really good beacon attack, which is pretty cool. And a Kamala. Not a terrible attacker. Unfortunately, Kamala needs to be asleep. And I don't have any great ways of putting him asleep. Now, we've got three packs left. We're sitting at four GXs, no Ultra Rare, uh, no Full Arts, no Rainbow Rares, no Tapu Lele, and we've pulled a Swellow. Last two packs, ladies and gentlemen. Can we pull something better than a Swellow? And the answer is yes. That is a Rainbow Rare. Drampa GX. Now, Rainbow Rare is the best kind of rare. Drampa is one of the most playable GXs from this set. It's no Tapu Lele, but it's still pretty good. I'm quite content with my Rainbow Rare Drampa, with my other Drampas going quite nicely. Machoke has a nice ability, but that's pretty cool. I'm loving my double Drampa all the way across the sky. Now, this is our final pack. Are we going to be rewarded with my first Tapu Lele? And the answer is, ladies and gentlemen, no. I've got a Talonflame. And a Reverse Hollow Lunala. Boo. So, if we go to the kind of good cards from our box here, we've got a couple of Drampers, one of which is a Rainbow Rare, an Alolan Ninetales, a Lycanroc, and a Toxapex. Not the worst ever. I mean, Toxapex is pretty garbage, but Lycanroc's playable, Alolan Ninetales is playable, Drampa is incredibly playable, and a Rainbow Rare as well is okay. Five Ultra Rares is on the low side, but a Rainbow Rare does help to make up for that. So the real question here is, where am I getting my Tapu Leles from? The answer is this weekend I'm actually getting two more boxes of Guardians Rising. Maybe I'll do more openings. Maybe I'll find my Tapu Lele. So I'm going to go and have a quick break, ladies and gentlemen. And then I'm going to decide what the best deck I can make out of this box is. Don't go anywhere. Grab yourself a nice cold beverage, but don't go anywhere because I am not going to be gone for long. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. I've done my very, very best. It's not amazing, but I've done my very best. If I can see all my Pokemon down here, we've got a 1-1 one, one Waylord line with a Victini. Waylord is invincible on a coin flip, so you play a Victini, 
You never know. We've had to go water deck here. We've got a 1-1 one, one Machoke line here, purely because it's really good for defending against things like Decidueye or the promo Tapu Koko. We've got our two Drampa GX here, fairly obviously, because, you know, it, it, it's Drampa GX. It's really good. And we've got two regular Drampa as well, because it's a decent attacker. Simple as that. Uh, we've got a Sudo Wudu in here, which is really good for lowering your opponent's field size, which is quite nice. Uh, one Oracorio, just so we can use the attack Supernatural Dance, which is really good against things like Vespaquen. We've got four Alolan Vulpix, because Beacon is just too good an attack not to use. We're playing a whole mess of Pokemon here, so it only makes sense that we um, would, you know... Play for Alolan Volpix just to get them all out. And obviously our one copy of Alolan Ninetales because that's a pretty nice attacker. We've got a 1-1 one, one Alolan Sand Slash just because the ability helps to draw cards. We've got a 1-1 one, one Lycanroc GX purely because it helps you to have a Lysander style effect and we don't have Lysander in this deck. We've got a 2-1 Garbodor line because Garbodor's too good an attacker not to have. We've got a 2-2 Beware line. Now, I actually drew five Bewares from this box. So, it's not a great attacker, but it's all right. And the ability helps us draw three cards. And as we're going to see when we look at the supporters, we don't have great drawing options here. Uh, we've got two Drampa and a Drampa GX, like I said. This is my Pokemon line. I suppose the theory here is try and go with Drampa and Alolan Ninetales. Uh, you've got a Garbodor for late game, Waylord really is for emergencies, and like a Rock GX, you know, bloodthirsty eyes. Now, if we move on, and I'm going to have to move them over in a fairly unceremonious manner, we can have a look at the item cards, the trainer cards here. It's not terrible, it's not amazing, but it's not terrible. Now, we have a full four complement of Aqua Patch here, which is actually really nice in a water deck like we've got. And we've got four copies of Brooklet Hill, which is actually going to be pretty fancy because we want to be searching out all of those water basics. We've got one Max Potion to completely heal. We've got one Enhanced Hammer, sorry, two Enhanced Hammer, so that we can slow down any decks that are reliant on special energy. Free choice ban, us hoping for a fourth, but 30 more to EXs and GXs, we can't turn that down. Four copies of Hala, and I really like this in this deck, because we are relying quite heavily on Drampa GX here, which means we may well be using Big Wheel GX in the early game to get a new hand of 10 cards. Well, if we do that, then Hala becomes a really good card, a, wait for it, Hala good card, so it's really nice having four of them. Two copies of Mallow, just because it's the only other supporter we've got. Uh, and one Rescue Stretcher to recover Pokemon. And two Field Blower to get rid of our opponent's choice bands. Everything else is going to be energy. I'll put the proper counts up on the screen. It's not the best deck ever. But I don't have any other trainer cards I want to use. Energy Lotto is not very good. And I don't have any other Pokemon which are playable. So this is the best deck I can make out of the box. And though I'm not using Toxapex GX. And the reason why, well, it's terrible and it's weak to Garbodor. I'm not doing it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not using Toxapex GX. So, there's my very first box opening. What did you think? Did I make it different enough that it's worth actually doing these box openings in future? Bit of a competitive slant. I made a deck out of my box, but if nothing else, you still got to see all the pretty cards I drew, which is quite nice. And you all got to see my face. And for that, if nothing else, I think we can all be thankful. Now, make sure you like this video. Make sure you comment. Tell me if you want more of these videos in future. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Follow me on Twitter, at the Wossy. And the most important thing, as always, look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio. Bye.